and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Sejuani Swain. Uh, we're going to be having Puppy join us here with this one, um, at least for a little bit, as long as Puppy wants to sit here. Um, so yeah, Sejuani Swain is a deck that's all about the top end. It's all about Swain, Sejuani, and the Leviathan. That's really like where the, the power of this deck comes from. And everything else is to just help support these, get these in play, and everything like that. These three cards are all incredibly good. So I like how we have Babbling Bjergs to draw a unit with 5 plus power. So we'll always draw Sejuani or Leviathan with Babbling Bjerg. I do like that. Sorry about that. Um, and then besides that, we have a lot of things to help level up Swain and Sejuani. Lots of damage. We have some different things that can do some Nexus damage. This is Harvey. She's... See, there's Harvey right here. She's my other doggo. Um, we have Ember Maiden doing one damage to everything, uh, which includes the enemy Nexus, so that, that helps our Sejuani level up. And, of course, that's just a bunch of damage that can help the Swain level up. Um, and, uh, and you know, like then we have, like, Demolitionist that can do Nexus damage. Crimson Disciple can do Nexus damage. Um, Death's Hand obviously does the Nexus damage as well, so lots of things there, maybe even Fervor if we need to. One, a card that I really like that's in here is Blade's Edge. I think this is a pretty nice card to have. This is For just one mana, this can kind of do a whole lot. This is basically like our warning shot that you see in the Bilgewater decks, because it can go upstairs, and if you have a leveled up uh, Swain, then it can stun something, or you can go upstairs and do one damage for to get towards the Sejuani level up. Or once you have a leveled up Sejuani, when you're in combat, uh, like if they attack you, you can just Blades Edge them, and then it doesn't matter if they have pump spells or anything like that, because with this being a fast spell, once Blades Edge resolves, then it will Frostbite everything, and, you know, like they can't have pump spells afterwards. Um, let's see, because then it'll go straight to damage. So that's pretty nice there. And then plus, you can just have one damage on a unit to pair up with Ravenous Flock or to pair with like Ember Maiden or just other things to help finish cards off. So yeah, this looks like a pretty nice list here. Let's go ahead and try it out and let's see how it does. We're going to go play in ranked. Oh, we need to fix this. We don't need, um, we don't need to go to the PNZ board for our Noxus deck. Let's get... Get this draggling. I don't know if I've used that draggling yet. And okay, this looks pretty good. All right, sorry about that. <clears throat> okay, Sejuani Swain. <laughs> yes, Hardy. Bobby just laying down, all chill. Harvey's like, pet me more, pet me more. Oh, no! Oh! Spoopy, no! Oh, I'm so I'm so sorry. We were, I was supposed to use the festival kit. I'm, I don't... I just wasn't really reading that. Alright, my bad. Festival kit. I was supposed to change this, too. Um, my bad. Right, I'll change it to it after this. Alright, so I'm just going to keep this curve. Even though I have Babbling Beer to draw a 5 plus power card, it's just having these five, having Sejuani and Leviathan are both so important. Um, I don't really mind if it's if it's another Sejuani. I don't really mind that because then we have a Fury of the North. Like it's not bad having two Sejuanis. We just need those cards. It's a necessity. We're playing against the discard deep deck. I guess. So are we going to play... 
Kindly Tavern Keeper. Right now. My answer is yes. Don't really want to go Ember Maiden. And... Wow, that was perfect. All well, that... Definitely... Definitely didn't work out. Definitely punished me for not just going straight to attacks. Alright, well that didn't work out. Because the other, the other option... I wasn't really considering playing Embermane. The other option was go straight to attacks and just hold up Death's Hand. Up there in the mountains! <laughs> There's no such thing as Yeti. So even though I don't need that Leviathan, that does just mean that, like, I, you know, that just takes a card out of the deck that I won't be drawing. Play Ember Maiden. Destruction feeds my fire. I don't know. This Ember Maiden may not really work out, but I like just having the three mana instead of instead of playing Babbling Beard where I wouldn't have three mana. Okay, so that's four with Twisted Fates. They're pretty close to, like, rummage level this thing up. I mean, I could just Blade's Edge the Twisted Fate also. I don't. I guess I don't need to Death's Hand. Do a Blade's Edge because of Ember Maiden. Alright, we're a long ways away from leveling up Sedgemon. So that's gonna keep going down. Like, we should be doing damage the rest of the turns. Alright, we got our Leviathans. Python will draw Swain. Anything else? <laughs> oh, I wow, discarding wait. Jettison. So they're very confident in their ability to go deep quickly. Next turn we'll have ten or sorry, nine mana, so I will have Sejuani plus Death's Hand next turn. So they're gonna be deep next turn for Nautilus. So this just does the most damage to them, because I, I definitely assume they're playing Nautilus. Like, they have a million cards in hand. I assume they have a Nautilus. Um, so I'm probably not attacking with these. We'll have our 5-6 with the Overwhelm do 4 damage to them.
I can make it an additional point of damage by using the death's hand. But we'll just save death's hand for next turn. Next turn, it'll be four out of five for the Sejuani. Alright, looks like they got us. Sea monsters are still pretty good. That counterfeit copies was from the coral creatures. They don't have counterfeit copies in their deck. Let's see what you can do. That's from the coral creatures. If only Nautilus wasn't fearsome. No, I, I would not have stayed. I would not have gone to one life if Leviathan blocked the two one. I was at eighteen. That's nineteen. Victory awaits. Glory, courage, excuses for war. No, if I could have gone to one and not blocked with Leviathan, I would have. The D. Yeah, it was it was game the previous turn whenever they killed my Sejuani and Leviathan. All right, GGS. Sejuani. We'll see if I'm supposed to mulligan House Spider. I do like Ember Maiden in this matchup, and I, I like it paired with these things. Uh, but maybe I should have mulliganed House Spider. Yeah, I think I think that that deep deck's better than I like that deep deck better than the Shadow Isles deep deck. I think, I think it's better. Oh my gosh, no, yeah, I, I didn't even think, you know, we went through that whole game and everything, I just didn't even think about, um, yeah, I'm sorry, I'm really sorry, I didn't even think about it, changing the Guardian, 
I'm so sorry. I just don't even know what I'm doing. Like, I don't I don't even really know what my plan is. I mean, it's kind of ever made in, but like, why, maybe I should just block with the 1-1. One, one. Well, that helps. What did we catch? Let the flames take you. Come on in. That doesn't help. At least it wasn't calling strike. <laughs> and so I'm gonna have Ravenous Flock be able to kill the 5-4. They attack with the 4 3. I'll block with the 3 1, of course. I'm through waiting. Embers and smoke. Fury of the North. Ugh. Yuck. Well, Swain's leveled up. We find Swain. So Dwani's at two. Basically, playing the demolitionists, you know, like we need units in play for these fervors. Doesn't look great. Pain is nothing. So my plan is to block Okay, yeah, I mean, I guess, you know, they have the vulnerables, so they don't get to choose, but I wanted to have this thing block the Caddo and then fervor it. Um... This has both of my things dying, where if I would have the 3-2 fervor over here, then we'd still keep this 2-3 alive. But I kind of like both things dying. Gotta be kidding me. Hang on. Well, I don't like both things dying, but I like I like the extra damage on the cat of the arm for my other Noxian fervor. Things my opponents are doing are just even even bigger than than Sejuani swing. It's going really big with all these Fury of the Norths and everything. He's hitting too hard. Okay, at least I'm gonna remember to change the Guardian. That's gonna give us some good luck as well. All right, we're gonna change the guardian. So it's possible, um, festival kit. Pretty sure it's festival kit. It's possible that like this deck really shouldn't be playing house spider, crimson disciple, demolitionist. 
these kind of cards. Even like the Ember Mains haven't really looked that good. I don't know, just like these these low units, these low cost units, just they just kind of get swallowed up and don't really like they're not impactful enough. Like maybe maybe this kind of deck, you know, like maybe we need to be playing like Trifarian Glory Seekers. Like that card's awesome. Averroes and Trapper awesome card like should we just be playing like these kind of cards that are just a lot better like basically you know like the cards that ash sejuani plays because those cards are awesome even grenadier that can do one to the enemy nexus but that's a three two what if those cards are better than than these things it's it's likely that they are yeah like trapper is legit Glory Seeker is awesome at you know, being two mana that can take down these large units. But like, what is House Spider Demolitionist? What are they doing? So Twisted Fate Jinx probably going to be going really wide. I guess I should be keeping that House Spider. Yeah, we could definitely go guillotine. We talked about that one a little bit before. There's a lot of these twisted fate. There's a lot of like decks that are playing nab cards these days, and I've gotten Noxian guillotine nabbed so much to kill like these big units to, that killed me. That I don't love Noxian guillotine. And like, if you saw like that, like that last game, like at the last turn, like none of those things are damaged. Guillotine wouldn't have killed a single thing on my opponent's side that last game. So I'm not sold that these these cards are really pulling their weight. Now this is a deck that goes wide, so so it's gonna so these house spiders are definitely gonna look better here. I'm always up for a round or two. Blue as the serpentine. But like this is so awkward, right? Like how how am I supposed to play House Spider and Ember Maiden together? <laughs> like I can't even cast Ember Maiden now. Right? It's just so awkward. Reporting for duty. For the glory of Noxus. The Ember Maiden has been pretty awkward for us a lot. Yes, I know Ember Main plus Edge kills Twisted Fate, but it also kills everything that I have. So they had to have fast speed card draw to keep Twisted Fate, or you know, to level up Twisted Fate at this point. Which isn't super likely. Oh, well, they do. Now, this game's heating up. GG's. Who has the Serpentine? nine cards this turn.
Well, this is pretty bad. This is a donation deck, but I don't know. I feel like we should just change it, like everything about this deck. <laughs> uh, this is just not working. And I played a similar version of Saint Swain Sejuani earlier in the week with a donation deck that also didn't work either. This is just okay. So what if we don't play that card? Don't play this card. Don't play this one, this one, this one. Don't really want any of those cards. If we don't play any of them. Okay, so what if we play... So what are we going to use for card draw? Is the thing. Definitely want Trapper. I want Glory Seeker. I want Avalanche. Avalanche is going to be our main way to level up. Swain. Not exactly sure how we're leveling up Sejuani. Is it City Breaker? Sejuani can also just be an awesome card. You know, maybe we don't need to focus on leveling up Sejuani as much. I did change the Guardian last time. All right, bye, puppy. Did not get the puppy luck. Hmm. All right, what is... I have a version of Sejuani Swain. What does it look like? So this is my version of Sejuani Swain. The Ember Maiden hasn't been good, though. I should probably take out Ember Maiden. It has not been good. I just think this is this is probably better. With, you know, cards like Averroes and Sentry, Averroes and Trapper. Like, just good cards. Harsh Winds is awesome in a lot of key scenarios. But Ember Maiden hasn't been good. Got Trapper. Let's get a third Avalanche. Let's take down Noxion Fervor because we're not really playing little things to uh, little things to Noxion Fervor. This gives me three slots. Could go Grenadiers to be a good blocker. Could play Starlet Seer. This could be a pretty sweet Starlet Seer deck. Take out a City Breaker. We play Starless here. No, I don't. I don't think Ruthless Raider is very good. Just not impactful enough. Just it's just gonna trade with like it just always trades with some two mana card, like always. It's just and whatever the best easiest thing for the opponent is to trade with. It never does very much, and it's just another thing that's gonna die to our Avalanche. Let's try this. Let's try this with Starlet Seer, Trapper, Sentry. 
get good cards in our deck. Cancel. Festival kit. Alright, gonna try a completely different version of Sejuani Swain. This is what I kind of mentioned the, the last time. So when the person that did donate for this did say... Um, let's see, where was it? Yes, yeah, so it's Wayne Sejuani. Want to see what changes you'd make any day but Saturday. So today's not Saturday. I did want to see what changes I would make. Let's see if this is, works better. Okay, Twisted Fate, Gangplank. We need... Okay, Avalanche is good. I was going to say, we need something for um, them going wide. The Petty Officers are really good. So I, I like av I like having Avalanche. Still see far and clear. Deus is late for the homestead. Trade. Trade. You just think this is a better card than House Spider. You know, we have like our two power thing that trades, but instead of having a little one one, we get to draw a card. And our card on average is going to be a lot better than a zero mana one one. You'll fight or you'll swim. Okay, let's just let's save Avalanche. Let's just go Death's Hand. That'll give me an extra mana to be able to protect Babbling Bjerg, even though. We may not use it to protect Babbling Bjerg. We'll see. Up there in the mountains. I'm not greedy. My friends don't. Ever consider a henshin career? So there's a lot of ways they can kill a 3-2, like with Twisted Fate Gold Card, for example. Boys. They go Twisted Fate Gold Card, I, I Avalanche. Neither the flames nor the death can claim me. Okay, so we're going to... Noxion Fervor... I guess I could take a little bit of damage. Break their legs. You gotta believe me. All right, that's also fine. I'm not attacking. Try to get three damage on Gangplank. Cool. Maybe they play Twisted Fate here. I have my orders. Okay. Good enough. Not going to wait. Not going to. Like they still have four mana. They can still play something else, but I'm not going to pass priority and let them just go straight to combat. So said twenty's at one, Swain is all good. Light. 
They're getting planks at three. I'll show them pain. Bad gangplank. Get out of here. And now City Breaker will help level up Sejuani, and then plus, whenever we do have leveled up Sejuani or Swain, City Breaker does a whole lot. Boo. At least it's not super likely for them to steal Leviathan from me. Considering I have two of the three Leviathans in hand currently. That would be a feels bad if they did. There's plenty of killing left. You can see the Devastian border from here. Your king has returned. Well, that's a problem. Third gangplank, that's definitely a problem. Fire! Definitely a problem. In Avarosa's name, let's get to it. Gather round, gather round! Blight them up! Oh, it still dies? That was useless. Oh, I thought it was gonna go to one. That was really that was bad. Now I don't get to play the other Leviathan. Oh Yeah, I mean I just yeah, I just shouldn't have played that elixir of iron. I mean it saves me life, I guess. It saved me two life. Now I don't get to play the other Leviathan. I couldn't kill the keg. I wish I could, but I couldn't kill the keg. Explosives prime. See, Avalanche is great. I have to say, Avalanche has looked pretty good. So all three of their gangplanks are dead. Alright, GG's. I decided that History will remember us. I don't know. I didn't know. Never mind. Okay, so I think this is, this definitely felt better with having the Avros and Sentry help draw a card. Death Lotus was, was clutch, right? Like during that combat, Death Lotus killed two attackers and also killed the Gangplank. So Death Lotus was clutch, Avalanche was clutch, Avros and Sentry was good. Okay, more Twisted Fate, Gangplank. Let's go with all of these cards, keep them all. Mulligan Starless Mulligan. here. So I'm gonna go Sentry into Trapper into Bjerg, so just Mulligan the Starless here, maybe. Yeah, with the new rank-up system, if you win, you gain about 15 to 25 points. If you lose, you lose about 15 to 25 points. Ready the torches. Light 
the signal fires. Yes, Starlet Seer is a good card. I like this deck more than the previous one we're playing. On hey, Omen Hawk. Lucky. Tons of Petty Officer these days. That's why. It's a good reason why Avalanche is good with all the Petty Officer running around. So I know my top card is the one mana 5-5. Five five. If I play Babbling Bjerg, I may draw the one mana 5-5. Five five. Tread carefully. They're out there. I'm gonna save the three spell mana. And next turn I'll have one mana 5-5 five five plus Babbling Bjerg. Unreal how many petty officers we face these days. <laughs> it's just all petty officer everywhere. Oh, awesome, Tumblebog. Glad to hear that. So I was kind of risking them playing another thing. These old eyes still Dude, see Avros and Sentry has been nice. I'd rather the Starless here trade with the Chump Lump than my uh, Enraged Yeti. But now we have Death's Hand to kill it. So we can have Enraged Yeti and Death's Hand and Elixir of Iron. And we can start growing something on top of our deck. Starlet's here. By snow and stars. Me in. So you get a lot of stats with Starless here for your mana cost. Because it's a 2 3 for 2, and now with just casting one spell, now it's like a, a 3 4, right? Because like now we're going to have an additional plus 1 plus 1 on something with just one spell. And each spell that we cast after that, you just get more and more stats. You own what you take. 
So they have a whole bunch of cards in hand. Uh, they're fleeting. They have you know, three fleeting cards that they need to be playing this turn. They can't just use Thermogenic Beam to take down something, because then we have the uh, something else challenge. So that's card number six. Nah, we're, we're just gonna go this way. So if they have, if they have rummage, they get to level up to a fate. See, Elixir of Iron, great card. I think this works out better, just playing great cards, instead of playing the things that kind of help Swain and Sejuani level up. Instead, you just play great cards. I think that's helping us out. Safety will cost you. A conquest! GG's. We survive. Let's do let's do one more with this version. Maybe instead of just saying two three, maybe we should split this up. We were like O oh, three and then change decks, and now we're 2 0. Instead of. You know, because some people like looking at the records later and then seeing what they want to watch, so instead of just saying, oh, our deck was 2 and 3. Alright, They Who Endure is always a problem. We need Leviathan and. Um, but I like this hand. We need Leviathan and Swain, right? Like, that's that's the combo we need, is Leviathan plus Swain. And so hopefully Babbling Beer goes and finds this Leviathan. I think Death Lotus can be great, especially against Blighted Caretaker. Definitely like these Death Lotuses. They go wide. Where are you? Um... I must get out of here! See? Death Lotus is one of the most underrated cards. Here's a good one. Keep that life total high. We shall not rest until all betrayers fade. Lista makes us kind of change things up a bit. May need to death's hand that Callista. If I don't cast death's hand on the Callista, then they can play like, you know, Babbling Bjerg, something like that that levels up Callista, and then I'll have to. Then their future Callistas will be leveled up. So, like, that's, you know, they could play Blighted Caretaker here and level it up, and then future Callistas will be leveled up. But if I don't play Death's Hand, Death's Lotus is a, could be a huge blowout if they don't have Blighted Caretaker. So, it's kind of tough. I'm going to. The only way. Yeah, so I'm going to basically let them do this because the only way this is bad for me is if. They A have like Blighted Caretaker and then like B also have um Okay, so yeah, we gotta do this. With waiting. 
and then B also have uh, like another Callista afterwards. All right, with the glimpse beyond, that was definitely good. That hurt. Um, but if I would have just death, if I would have cast Death Hand on the Callista, they would have. They would have gone Glimpse Beyond on the Callista and drawn two still, and then they would have had that 3-3 Bark Beast that I would have had to try to figure out a way to deal with that 3-3 Bark Beast. for Callista. Oh, wow. Even worse. Wow. That was gross. <laughs> Do we have leveled up Swain on turn four? Definitely wish I had one more mana and I had this Death's Hand available as well. I'd be able to Death's Hand this Neverglade Collector. But we don't have that mana available. Cool. We'll take 710 Leviathan. Seems better than 5 8 Leviathan. Everyone's a garden. I don't think that they're playing Ruination. I, yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to be playing around Ruination. I don't think they have it. I need to kill them before, like, they who endure atrocity. Like, that's. I gotta be worried about that. I'm honestly not worried about ruination. Yeah, I don't really see this this deck playing ruination much. Let's see. Do you need to kill this Neverglade collector? best way of doing that. So I have 11 mana. I, I'm again one short for Swain, Avalanche, and Death's Hand. Again one short with that. This is worrisome that this could be... A 
This is definitely worrisome. This could be they who endure. Wow, that is great. I would not do that if I were them. I would be drawing my card from Avaro's the Century and seeing if I draw they who endure. Yeah, that is, that is a good point. It is likely that, that their last card in hand was another atrocity if they just threw that one away. Okay, no they who endure, no win. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah, just try to watch your language there. It's poopy. Um... So there we go. That's that's Sejuani Swain. I think this is a lot better version, and I'll put this this version this link in for our uh, deckless command. So I think if you want to uh, want to try this this one out, I think this is where you got to go. I think you need to play like Avalanche. We saw Death Lotus is really good. This card's really underrated. Um, yeah, I liked this card. And then Elixir of Iron helped save things. You know, then just play some good threats like Trapper, Starless Seer, out here. City Breaker kind of did its thing. Um, yeah, I think this is what we need to, where we need to go for um, Sejuani, Swain, and stuff. Oh, yeah, I had Harsh Winds that I could have drawn also against They Who Endure. Right, because Harsh Winds is great. Um, yeah. All right, so there we go. That's Sejuani, Swain. Definitely feeling a lot better about the deck <laughs> after those last three games. Um, I was... I was disheartened at first, but I think I think it can still work. I think that th these champions can do well. So those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button. Try this version. Let me know how it goes. Let me know if this version goes as good for y'all as it did for me right here. Uh, let me know what you think of this Sejuani Swain. Uh, but anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you for the next video.